Hello, I am going to do a video review of The Awakening and Grand Isle, which is the movie that was made about it. Um, The Awakening is a feminist novel by Kate Chopin, and it was written in 1899. It's about a woman named Edna who lives in a Creole society, which is code for wearing big dresses and men going to work while women stay at home. She um, spends her days talking to her friends, going to the beach, being waited on by a young man, and um, kind of watching her children sometimes. And for whatever strange reason, she is not pleased with any of that and is not a fan of the staying at home and being a mother wife, which is being a good mother and being a good wife. And she, um, well, she kind of goes just, what, I don't know, crazy. She decides that she doesn't want to be controlled by a man and restrained by the life of a mother. So, she is um, spending time with this guy, Robert, who is kind of strange because he's just a young guy and he waits on Edna like, I don't know, like, it's, it's very strange. And she really likes that and she really likes him so she kind of becomes very obsessed with him and they start talking and doing a lot of stuff, hanging out all the time. Meanwhile, her husband has always gone on business trips, so I mean, she, she doesn't care. And um, at one point her husband is gone and her children are at their grandmother's. So she um, leaves, gets her own house, tries to become an artist, um, which to her means drawing while naked, and that just really doesn't work out at all. And uh, Robert runs away to Mexico because, well, Edna's just really a handful, so he takes off. And um, so she is stuck in this house, drawing naked, not good stuff, and this town man whore, I'll say, comes to visit her because, well, he knows that she is a sexual woman and um, they get it on. So she does that and she still just wants Robert and um, he comes back, still is not that interested in her. He's just really kind of crazy. She is really kind of crazy and he's just really not down. So she... Um, runs naked, which she just loves being naked. She runs naked into the ocean and she drowns herself. So that is what happens in the book and the movie. And um, my problem with this is that everyone, I mean, gosh, this is like the go-to novel for feminists who want to read a novel. So, I mean, feminists just love it. And I don't... <sighs> I just don't see why, because feminists are all about, you know, independence, not being controlled by a man, um, doing your own thing, and that is not what Edna's about at all. I mean, it kind of is because she doesn't want to be controlled by a man, and she takes off to be independent, but I mean, just because she ran away from her husband doesn't mean that she's not being controlled by a man because the entire novel she's just obsessed and wants Robert to love her more than anything and that's almost like what she focuses on the entire time so that's I mean is that that doesn't really scream feminist to me just pining over a man after you love your husband without even telling him. 
that's just, I mean, in the book, you just get such an insight on what Edna is thinking and what she's feeling. And honestly, that is like the biggest downfall of the book because Edna's annoying. She's just annoying and bratty and she's very upset whenever she doesn't get her way. And that's just not something that I would imagine would be appealing to feminists because she just plays, you know, the role of an overly sexual woman who doesn't necessarily uphold the values of feminism in that she needs a man. She needs Robert to feel happy about herself and when she did, when she realizes that she can't have him, she kills herself. That is just... I don't know. It's weird. But um, luckily, in 1991, someone named Mary Lambert decided to direct the movie Grand Isle, which is based on The Awakening, and um, she did a great job. Grand Isle is much better than The Awakening, which is odd because people, you know, people never like movies better than books, but I personally like this way better than The Awakening because, mostly, you really can't hear what Enda's thinking, which, I mean, makes her such less of a brat and annoying and someone that the audience can maybe even like. Also, the director decided that Edna's husband would suddenly become a kind of harsh and meaner guy as opposed to the book where he is beloved by everybody and it's very strange that Edna wants to leave him. But in the movie, he's kind of rude, mean, scolds her a lot and that uh, immediately makes Edna someone who escapes from a bad marriage which is a character that you can root for someone that you know feminists like don't have to be a feminist to like her even I liked her and um that honestly just makes all the difference not to mention the um the title of the book is The Awakening and it's really about a sexual awakening in Edna when um, she realizes that she doesn't, she has needs and she always has. She's been a fanatic about love and romance and as an adult sex and she realizes that and she realizes that she is a sexual person and that she wants to explore that. And in the movie, you really see that, like, you really see that because, well, bam, it's just out there, sex scene, intimate, fireplace, nudity, you know, everything a sex scene should contain. Yet in the book, you, you could honestly miss it in the blink of an eye because of the censorship that Kate Chopin had to deal with in 1899, which... I mean, you just couldn't write about sex back then. It was very strange and taboo, as if this book wasn't taboo enough for her generation. So, the movie really got to explore the issue of sexual awakening in a way that the novel couldn't. Because in 1991, I mean, it, it was okay to show a woman drawing naked, and it was okay to show a extreme sex scene, well not extreme, but I mean, pretty heavy, and um, it was okay to show those things without someone seeing Edna as a whore or an overly sexualized woman, which I think is what Kate Chopin was going for. She wasn't trying to say that Edna was overly sexualized or she was someone who liked to sleep around just that she had a sexual awakening and um, she wanted to explore it. And in the novel that came across to the audience of 1899 as a woman who was just a slut. And, you know, I don't, they didn't really like it. So the movie really just got to explore the themes that Kate Chopin wrote about in a way that didn't hold them back because they, I mean... They, honestly, the director made Edna a feminist icon the second that she made her husband rude. 
someone, when she showed Edna standing up to her husband saying, you know, I'm not going to go to bed, like, I don't need this, you're a bad husband, so I'm going to leave. That is, I mean, that's what a feminist icon should be like, not someone like the Edna in the novel who was just unhappy for no reason. She had a very nice husband, good kids, good friends, and she was just very unhappy with that, and she just left for no reason. That makes her look like a brat. Well, in the movie, it makes her look like a hero for getting out of a bad situation and trying to sustain herself while trying to become an artist, which, well, didn't work out for her in the movie either. But all in all, the movie just, I mean, I think that the movie is the story that Kate Chopin wishes that she could have written back in 1899, but she couldn't because of limitations of her generation and censorship and the fact that the book was already so awkward, you know, for a time in 1899. So all in all, the book Edna is just a bratty girl who is unhappy with a relatively good life and um for being written in 1899 she was people thought she was a slut so i mean she's just a bratty slut and i mean who wants to read a book about that especially feminists that's why i don't understand why it's a feminist novel because she's just i mean she pines over this guy the entire novel and she left a good life behind for virtually no reason. I just don't see why it's such a feminist novel. Yet the movie shows a woman who is brave and courageous by leaving a bad marriage and going to, you know, help herself, sustain herself, all the while looking for someone who will be better than what she had before. And that is commendable and well just way better the book the book just doesn't compare to the movie at all and um that is it